the unlikely Lawrence of Arabia. In the late 1980s, a shocking discovery was made. What was found was north of Kansas City, about 45 to 50 feet below a cornfield, a mule. A mule in its harness and still tied to a rail. Due to the depth of the find and the lack of oxygen, the deceased mule was quite well preserved. Along with this mule was found about 200 tons of various supplies, food items of all type, clothing, simple farm equipment, and even fine and intact china. Was this poor mule responsible for transporting 200 tons of cargo? <laughs> no, that would be ridiculous. Pickles. You know what else might be considered ridiculous? The food items. When uncovered in the late 1980s, were over 130 years old. Everything from fruit to pickles were still in their bottles, perfectly preserved. One of the members of the excavation crew, tasked to pull out the long lost items from the ground, well, he must have had a serious craving. He actually opened up a jar of the still fresh green pickles and enjoyed one with lunch, with <laughs> no ill effects. 200 tons of supplies that are over a century old. Along with the singular mule, well, there's got to be more to this story. And there is. In 1856, the great steamboat Arabia was heading upstream out of Kansas City, Missouri on the Missouri River. It was headed out carrying 150 passengers and supplies to 16 frontier towns. The cargo included a large assortment of preserved fruit, green sweet pickles, weapons, tools, beads, buttons, shoes, cloth, and more. Well, travel by steamship was comparatively comfortable. It was a great way to get from one place to another, if there was a navigable route between the two. But there are always hazards. How they lost Lawrence. Fall was rushing on. It was September 5th, 1856. It was later in the day and the sun was setting, sending a beautiful orange-yellow reflection across the surface of the water. If you were a passenger on the Arabia, it was a glorious thing to witness. If you were part of the crew, it was a bit of a worry. That light, dancing like thousands of fairy lanterns across the surface, made it near impossible to see any stump or snag waiting just under the surface to foul the paddle wheel, or worse yet, slam into the hull and sink the ship. But that is just what happened. A large hole was smashed into the hull by a snag just below the waterline. The impact caused the steamboat Arabia to shudder, stop, and sink within minutes. Miraculously, all of the 150 passengers and crew were able to make it to shore, alive. The mule, however, didn't make it. It was still lashed in place to a railing on the deck. And within a few days, the wreck had disappeared into the relentless currents and silt of the Missouri. Steamship, cargo, and mule were just gone. But hold on just a minute. This mule and the steamboat were located about 50 feet below the cornfield and about a half a mile from the river. Yep, that's true. Over the 132 odd years from the time the Arabia sunk, the Missouri River had wandered a bit. The Great River carved a new channel. After who knows how many seasonal changes in water levels and floods, the river covered the already submerged Arabia with 45 to 50 feet of rich soils that were just right for growing crops. The record that proved the Arabia had existed was present. The records of its construction in 1853 were available and of its sinking in 1856. It was in the newspapers. Seeing things like a treasure hunter. 
But over the months and years, the location was lost. The face of the earth had changed, and the Arabia, its cargo, and the mule were just gone, and for the most part, forgotten. But not by Bob Holly and his sons, David and Greg. They went full treasure hunter, and after getting permission from the landowner, they used a proton magnetometer to locate the boilers of the steamboat. Along with partners Jerry Mackey and David Luttrell, they started digging. But the landowners insisted they needed to finish before it was time for spring planting. <laughs> it took a few weeks to uncover the first artifacts, but they found a few things on the Saturday after Thanksgiving, November 26, 1988. Shortly after that, they found a wooden crate filled with still yellow packing straw and some elegant unbroken china. There were a plethora of treasures found. Care, restoration, and conservation efforts have been made, and now you can view much of what was pulled up from 45 feet under a cornfield and half a mile from the river on display at the Arabia Steamboat Museum in Kansas City's River Market. You can even find a display honoring the mule. Think you could guess the name of that poor old mule? That what the mule was called before it died? We really don't know. But after his remains, along with the rest of the Arabia, were uncovered, they named him Lawrence. Of course, Lawrence of Arabia. So here's an ounce from our little tale about Lawrence of Arabia and the steamship. And just as with any story, there are many little ounce-sized nuggets of wisdom to be uncovered. But for now, might I suggest just this one. There was no sign visible of what lay 45 feet under the ground and half a mile from the river. One could have stood among the corn stalks or might have even planted and harvested grains or other crops for a century or more and not had a single clue. Yet it was there. The steamboat Arabia and Lawrence would have remained lost but for someone who knew what to look for and how to look. How many amazing things are in our lives that we just overlook or take for granted? It's amazing what you'll find when you change your perspective and learn to look at things a different way. And that's it, an ounce submitted for your consideration. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. I appreciate you getting this far. And if you have, you must have liked it, I hope. And if you did, why don't you subscribe so you can catch some of our other episodes and hit that like button and leave us a comment. Tell us if there's something you'd like to hear about or learn. It really does help as the algorithm then realizes somebody's interested in watching and we appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs>